Okay, second life. Dow Lodge. In this episode, we're going to show the Dow Lodge slideshow, which is a really amazing piece of code I wrote. I'm so proud of it. And I wrote it, I don't know, four or five years ago, six years ago. And what it does is it pulls images from a server. Um, you could say the cloud. It pulls images from the cloud uh, and brings them into Second Life and displays them on surfaces. And the slideshow that I created, uh, or the subject I uh, used for this, uh, is a collection of uh, Salvador Dali paintings. So let's get right to it. We're going to go up to the workshop and uh, just kind of show what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Actually, it, um, one of the applications is working in this very room. We go over, see if we can uh, see that. I don't know if I have it turned on or not. Let's see here. Ah, there. There. <laughs> Spinning around. There on the wall should be this, uh, running the script that we have running up on the platform. Yes. So it's running on a, uh, a cycle. Uh, that happens to be a portrait of Dolly's wife, who he often uh, portraited. Gala. G-A-L-A. -A, Gala. Uh, very controversial, interesting person. And there you see the script above. Uh, just loaded another image from the server, which is remote from Second Life. So we'll go up there now and take a look uh, at some of the displays and maybe even a peek at the code. Here we are, yes, up here on the deck. Um, of interest, perhaps, um, is a miniature model of my home in Second Life and it's just kind of for fun display. We'll go over to where the script is running. This platform by the way is where I these days I just display things that I've worked on, projects and all of these are, are the gauges that I worked on uh, which you know, they use LSL programming, the scripting language, and I spent a lot of time working on these things, and it gave me a, a tremendous amount of satisfaction uh, to get them working. You know, it's just a hobby thing, the garage. So, to explain this a little bit, this particular frame here is where I have the script running. Now, you see here, there's a small failure. Um, couldn't find the file. I think partially, I don't know, there's little bugs in the code, uh, especially with timeouts and whatnot. Now, if we look at this, uh, take a quick look at the, uh, the code behind it. Let's see here. Yes. And we're going to say select the face or edit linked, maybe. Let's see if we see the code. Yeah, here, this is the code. Originally, it was somebody else wrote the core, which is called Image TV, and I just kind of modified it to do what it does. Uh, the guy's original code, it only did like 12 images or something, but I've set it up so it can just be unlimited. And uh, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but um, basically, uh, this is what LSL code looks like. Um, it's pretty simple. It's like, you know, a lot of different languages, C or whatnot. And I'm not going to go through this. That is the, the basic thing. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then with this particular image here, this uh, object, which is just, you know, a simple object, um, a rectangle, uh, I can stop and start the uh, the slideshow. The slideshow I also have, I uh, for fun, I have it displaying what image it, it is uh, presenting by using the file names, 
picture on the server. This one we see 1945, three apparitions of the visage of Gala, which is Dolly's wife. As I said, she's a very popular subject of his paintings. Now in Second Life what you can do is you can use a media display uh, function which allows um, any kind of media almost, uh, uh, movies or uh, in this case uh, images to be displayed on a surface. So just for fun you know I've created these gigantic uh, displays. I'll go walk over in front of it you can kind of get a little sense of scale which really doesn't matter because things in virtual reality are kind of relative, uh, <laughs> very relative. But there's, you can kind of get a sense of scale here um, of this display of a dolly painting. And you can see also there the description of that particular painting. And for fun, I also, uh, when I was working on this recently actually, uh, uh, just, you know, was playing with uh, scripts that would rotate objects and display using that same uh, media source and here I'm just using various tints to that same image um, here's this another rotating cube and um, if I could show you this maybe as I go here edit let's say uh, edit linked or select face selecting the face and we see content rotate that's just the rotation script. How did I put this? Oh, here we go. Texture and uh, no, here texture. And I believe that is the texture that I had assigned to that media display. So what we have is a, <laughs> you know, what I achieved basically is an endless looping um, display of Dolly's artworks. Um, whether I'm here or not, it just keeps running and it shows the title of the works and I think I have in this collection probably over a thousand uh, images and it's pretty cool. The unfortunate thing is very very few if any maybe in my house uh, down below um, 2,000 meters below would actually see any of this art being displayed. But the whole idea, you know, I think maybe even it goes back to, uh, you know, some people that had had ideas about making um, picture, well, it's not that uh, amazing anymore, but, you know, having picture frames in your house that would display digital art uh, or digital representations of real art, uh, real being, you know, painted uh, images. Um, like this, you know. So um, I don't know how interesting that is. I mean, a still image to me has as much or maybe more power than something like this, which is, uh, you know, cycling through a library of images. But this is, again, for posterity, these little records. Uh, Second Life is definitely a place where I was able to express myself um, in a lot of ways. And now it's just a place kind of of memories where I go back. I don't do a lot of programming there. I'll uh, maybe a, a tweak here and there, but other than that, not. So that's it. The uh, Dow Lodge slideshow uh, showing uh, beautiful images from uh, Salvador Dali in a uh, kind of an endless loop gallery in a virtual world.